Hey guys, I'm here to record my summer book haul and these are going to be books that I got between May and now which is August, the end of August and I'm just going to just say a summer book haul because there's a lot of books here to show you guys. I have four library books, a lot of review books and then some books that I purchased on my own. So the first book I'm actually going to start off with is a book that I got from the booktube tours and it's My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry and it's from Frederick Backman. This is a contemporary humorous novel and I'm not sure if it's classified as adult or middle grade or YA but the main gist of this is that there's a seven year old girl her grandmother dies and she leaves behind a bunch of letters that she wrote to people that she wronged so Elsa she goes on this journey to give the letters to all of the people and I just think this is going to be really really hilarious it's going to be an amazing read and again this is from Frederick Beckman you can also join the giveaway which I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out you can win a copy of this book for yourself I'm in love with the cover and the feel of this the feel of the book is really soft and smooth this will be in my September TBR and um, you guys can find out more information I'll leave all the information down below for book depository Amazon um, the Goodreads information, everything like that. So if you are interested in this, definitely check out the giveaway. Check out the Goodreads link down below. And um, I will have a book review for this once I read it. But that is the first book that I have to haul for you guys. The next four are actually library books that I got. And they're all graphic novels. So the first one being Firelight, which is book seven in the Amulet series from Kazu Kabushi. I'm probably butchering his last name. I need to figure out how to say it. But I read this already. I loved it. Gave this a six stars because it's a favorite of mine. I love the whole series and I highly suggest you guys pick this up. It's a middle grade fantasy about elves and stone keepers and it's just amazing. Love it. The next three are all from the same series and it's the Lock and Key series. I have volume one which is Welcome to Love Cry from Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. I read this first one already during the book not the book tube what am I talking about? I read this already for the bottom book 17 point or read it on. Gave it a six stars. Love it. It's a fantasy horror. I'm gonna classify it as a doubt, but I'm pretty sure I'm a mature YA person could read this. But I really, really enjoy this. I loved it. I also have volume two, which is Head Games. And I have volume three, which is Crown of Shadows. So I'm enjoying these. I definitely will be getting my hands on the last three volumes when I go back to the library in a week. So moving on to the books that I purchased. So the first two books are books that I actually get got from Rite Aid. They are trade paperbacks. I believe that's what they're called, the really tiny ones. But they were both eight bucks. This one is from Laura Lai and it's Wicked Wicked Lies. It's a Men of Summer novels novel. I'm not sure which number this is. And then I don't know if this is the first book or the second book. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But this is a adult contemporary romance with a little bit of military aspect. I love this. I've read this already. It was phenomenal. Great read if you're into like contemporary romances with a little bit of steaminess to it. Love this. Following that, we have Cresley Cole Sweet Ruin. I read this already earlier this year, and when I saw this in Rite Aid, I had to pick it up because I love the book. It's a paranormal romance, and I love the cover. If you guys can see, it's really, really nice. And just the gist of it, it says, A fondling race in a world of humans, a lethally sensual and force so on a mission a boundless passion that will lead to sweet ruin so this does have a little bit of sex to it so if you're not into like novels with sex i would not suggest you get this but it is a good paranormal romance read for adults loved it the next one i have is moon glow from michael griffo griffo it's the first book in the darkborn legacy and it's a ya paranormal I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. The next few books I'm actually going to show you are from Dollar Tree, and I got them all for a dollar. And I checked out the ratings for this on Goodreads. I heard that it wasn't that good, and it's a little bit racist. Um, I'm still going to give it a go for myself and read it, but if I don't like it, I can always give it to the library. So that's that one. The next one is Untold from Sarah Reese Brennan. It's the late... The Lindborn, Lindburn Legacy. It's a YA paranormal, and this is the second book in the series. The first one being Unspoken, and here's that Unspoken, Untold, Unmade. I have so many Sarah Reese Brennan novels. I have yet to read any of her work, and I own a lot of them on e-copy. So when I saw this, I decided to pick it up. It was only a dollar from Dollar Tree. Like, why? Why not? I love the spine of this. It's really pretty. So I need to get me a bookshelf and probably work on getting the other ones. Um, but that's that. 
The next one is a YA paranormal historical fiction, and it's The Lovely and the Lost from Paige Morgan. It's the second book in the Disposed trilogy, and the first one being The Beautiful and the Cursed, the third one being The Wondrous and the Wicked. I do own all three of these on ebook, but I mean, it was only a dollar, so I picked it up, and I love the cover. It's amazing. And I think this is about angels, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to read the back of it because I don't want to spoil myself with the story because I do want to read the trilogy itself. But um, it's just amazing. I love it. And just the covers are gorgeous. I need all of them because they're gorgeous. The next one is a YA historical fiction and it's called Diva. It's from the Flappers trilogy. And this is actually the third book. It's written by Jillian Larkin. And here are the first ones. The first two here. I really, really... I'm excited to read this. I'm not huge on historical fiction novels, but I want to get into a lot more historical fiction novels. I have read a few and liked the few that I did have, so I'm excited to see how I feel about this after I read the first two, of course. And I do own this whole trilogy on eCopy, so when I saw this for a dollar, I did pick it up. The next one is a YA Paranormal. It's the sequel in the Friends trilogy. And this is Friends Are Forever from Tara Lynn Child. I got this from Dollar Tree as well for a dollar. And the cover is messed up because I had this sticker from Diva up here. I moved it down here, but this was still sticky when I put it on top of this book. And it ripped off, so yeah. But anyways, it's a YA Paranormal Romance about mermaids. And I do own the old, whole trilogy on eCopy, of course. But I decided to get it. It was only a dollar. And if I don't like it, I could always pass this along to my baby sister. So that's that one. And the last book I believe that I purchased is this one. It's a fantasy mythology paranormal kind of story. And it's the sequel to Carrier of the Mark and it's Shadow of the Mark from Leigh Fallon. And um, this cover is just gorgeous, you guys. I really, really love the covers on this. Even the spines. It's just amazing. I'm just a sucker for pink and purple, so, yeah, and I've always wanted to read this. I do own the whole trilogy on eCopy, of course, on my e-reader, but it was only a dollar, so I picked it up. Okay, moving on to all of the review books that I have, because I have quite a few review books. So I'm going to start off with the ones that are standalones. So this first one I actually just got yesterday, and it's in his it's a historical fiction contemporary i guess you could uh, a contemporary historical fiction it's called june by miranda beverly whitmore <laughs> and this is what that looks like and i don't know much about it let me just read the inside it says 25 year old cassie danvers is holed up in her family's crumbling mansion in rural st jude ohio mourning the loss, loss of a woman who raised her her grandmother june but the shriek of the rusted doorbell forces her out of isolation Cassie has been named the sole heir to the legendary matinee idol, Jack Montgomery's vast fortune. How did Jack Montgomery know her name? Could he have crossed paths with her grandmother all those years ago? What other shocking secrets lie in wait behind the oak doors of June's once stately home? So it just sounds amazing. It has deckled edges, which I think is pretty cool. And the cover itself is really smooth. I love it. It has a metallic feel. And then... The wording itself is glossed, and I just, I really like the way this looks and feels. Here it is without the dust jacket. I really like it. It has like a burnt orange kind of rust color. So, that's the first one. The next one is a thriller mystery. I'm not sure if this is adult or YA or not. I've heard so many people talk about it, and it's The Wolf Road from Beth Lewis. And what I get from this is that there's a little girl, she's found by a man, and he takes care of her, but when she's out and about, she finds out that he's a killer, and she runs from him. That's really all that I know about this, and it sounds really good. I don't read many mystery thriller novels, so I figured I'd give this a go. And um, it's just a black hardback with white writing on it. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to reading this, because... You know, mystery thrillers are not something I normally do read, but we'll see. This next one is a YA sci-fi, and it's Ernest Cline's Armada. And I have yet to read Ready Player One. I own it on eCopy, so I definitely want to get to this. This is based off of a game, if I'm not mistaken. Someone says that this is enchanting. Willy Wonka meets The Matrix. So that alone just sounds amazing, because I did like Willy Wonka. I'm a huge fan of The Matrix, so why not and the cover is absolutely gorgeous i love the metallic veil and even without the dust jacket it's amazing you guys can see and the dust jacket itself is like that so 
really, really amazing. And I've heard great things about Ernest Klein. So I'll get around to reading that. The last standalone I have is an adult mystery thriller. And this is book four in the Dave Gurney series. And it's Peter Pan Must Die from John Vernon. Really don't know much about it. It's a detective. And that's really all. Okay, so you have a detective who, whose name is Dave Gurney. Um, you have an assassin, which is crazy. You have a mob boss, a corrupt investigator, and a young temptress. And the assassin has a childlike appearance, so they nickname him Peter Pan. So that just sounds amazing, especially because I love Peter Pan itself. So I'm excited to see how this plays out. And the next few review books are in a trilogy or duology or something like that. So the first one is an adult mystery thriller trilogy and it's the Mara Cunning Cunningham series or rather trilogy first book being too close to miss the second one being too hard to handle and the third one being too late to run and I'm gonna read the back of the first book it just says that Mara Cunningham knew that sleeping with the married man was a bad idea but when her lover shows up in the hospital after his wife and son are murdered the rumors about Mara turn dangerous now she's a prime suspect in a double double bleh. She's a prime suspect in a double homicide, and the real killers will stop at nothing to silence her. Mara's race, Mara's race against time takes her from the dense heart of Boston to the dark woods of New Hampshire, from gritty streets to the halls of power. Before she's through, she'll learn just how she'll learn just which of her friends she can trust, and she'll learn to stare death in the face. So that just sounds really, really crazy and interesting. So I'm excited to read the whole trilogy. And that's that. Next is a duology. It's the Night Chill duology. It's the adult horror paranormal with a little bit of a mystery thriller. The first book being Night Chill. The second book being Night Terror. And let me just say, I hate the fact that these are both paperbacks, but two different sides. Like, why? Why? But, um, let's see if I can get the gist of this. Jack Tremont moves his family to the quiet mountains of western maryland hoping to leave behind a troubled past and restart his life instead he finds himself caught up in a nightmare when his daughter sarah is targeted by nate huckley a mysterious and horrifying stranger driven by dark power that will stop at nothing to possess her when sarah goes missing suspicion falls on jack and he must uncover the secrets of the small mountain town of prescott city and face the evil secret hidden there as he digs further he learns that a conspiracy reaches more deeply than he could have imagined. Finally, he will have to face the question, what is a father willing to do to save his child? The answer, anything, anything at all. And it says, in the tradition of Stephen King and Dean Koontz, Night Chill takes you on a wild ride and will have you double checking that your doors are locked at night. That just sounds creepy. I do plan to read this duology over Halloween. So I'm a little freaked out to read it just because the covers freak me out, if you guys can see. This one is Night Terror. This one is Night Chill. But I'm going to read them because I don't know why I keep hitting the camera. Sorry, you guys. Um, I'm going to read them because I need to. The next is part of a... I don't know if it's a duology or a trilogy or not. It's a trilogy. It's the Jack Daw Hammond trilogy. And it's an historical fiction urban fantasy mystery <laughs> series. And this one... The first one is called The Secrets of Life and Death. And the second one is called The Secrets of Blood and Bone. Um, basically, they take place in Krakow. Krakow? I'm probably butchering that. But um, in 1585 in England in 2013. And Jack Doyle Hammond has a secret. She's dead. Or she would be if not the sim symbols inscribed on her skin. I'm sorry. I'm reading this completely wrong. So it says Krakow. 1585, the celebrated alchemist Dr. John Dee and his assistant Edward Kelly are summoned by the King of Poland to save his dying niece, Countess Elizabeth Bethroy. But they soon find themselves in mortal danger for the source of Bethroy's milady is a magic far more twisted than they could have imagined. England, 2013, Jack Daw Hammond has a secret. She's dead, or she would be if not for the symbols inscribed on her skin. But now someone is hunting her, determined to possess the ancient magic with the help of occult yeah, occult Professor Felix Hammond must race to uncover the truth about the person hurting her. Not hurting her, haunting her, 
a truth that can be found only in the ancient diary of John D's assistant. Together, Gutrud, I'm probably butchering his last name. I'll put the name here on the screen. Gutrud and Hammond must find the diary and solve the 400-year-old mystery of Elizabeth Bathroll or die trying. So, yep. Book one, book two. I like the cover of book one. It's really nice and mysterious. I don't know if these are like birds or crows up here, but they look like crows to me. I love how she has like a faint kind of aura surrounding her. And um, book two just looks like this with a wolf. The next is an adult fantasy series. It's from the Divine Cities Trilogy. Book three is coming out next year, so I definitely want to read these. You guys saw me haul book one already, which was City Upstairs. I hauled this like two years ago, but I have yet to read this. This is from Robert Jackson Bennett, and I'm excited to read this. But I also have book two, which is City of Blades, and it's a companion trilogy. Book three is coming out as well, like I said, and I'll put a picture of the cover here. But um, I'm excited to read these. These are fantasy novels, and I'm just ready to get into them. And I love the way the spine looks, and the covers themselves just feel really good. Okay, the last two books. Ugh. This is an adult dystopian mystery thriller, and it's from the Spade Men. I think it's a duology, if I'm not mistaken. A duology. The first one being Shovel Ready, and it's by Adam Sternberg, and it's Shovel Ready. The gist of this is that Spade Man used to be a garbage man. That was before the dirty bomb hit Times Square, before his wife was killed, and before the city became a blown out shell of its former self. Now he's a hitman. In a near future New York City, split between those who are wealthy enough to tap into a sophisticated virtual reality and those who are left to fend for themselves in the ravaged streets, Spade Man chooses the streets. When his latest client hires him to kill the daughter of a powerful evangelist he must navigate between these two worlds the wasteland reality and the slick fantasy to finish his job clear his conscience and make sure he's not the one who winds up in the ground this sounds amazing and i've been looking for a lot more books that have like virtual worlds to them so this is going to be a good one so this is the first one and then the second one i have in hardback for review and it's called near enemy and um i don't really want to read the flap jacket but i love 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 this metallic feel and it's just a black hardback with silver writing on it so those are all the books that i have received over the, the summer and i'm excited to read them but for sure for sure i'll definitely be picking up my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry really soon since i have well since i am a part of the booktube tours so i will be reading this in september this will be in my september tbr and i will have a review for this coming really soon but other than that that is it you guys for this video thank you guys for watching subscribing and all that great stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one bye